High School Family, Miss Sarah here, and we are here to read a book. And this book is really special because it is a wordless book. A wordless book means there are no words in it, only illustrations and pictures. So when we read a wordless book, it's our job to look closely at the pictures and tell the story in our minds or tell the story to each other. And we read this book a lot at the beginning of the year. It's called, do you remember? It's called chalk and on the back there's a bag of chalk. There's lots of different colors and this book tells a story about a few kids who drew things with magic chalk and it's really really exciting. So I'm going to need your help when we look through the book. You're going to have to look closely at the pictures and tell me what you see or tell the people around you what you see because there are no words to read so it's all about observation. That means looking closely. So the words the title says chalk and it's almost written in a font or a way that looks like chalk it's pretty cool and the author or the just the illustrator actually because there's only pictures is bill thompson so let's see what we can find chalk and i have some chalk ready right here i'm going to draw with the story if you want to draw with chalk after the story that would be fun too let's see chalk and there's already a hint on this page there's a bag and there's a dinosaur. I wonder if we'll see any of those in the story. Let's check it out. Hmm. Okay, here's our first page. I'm gonna hold it up so you can see it really closely. What do you notice on this page? Hmm. I see one, two, three kids and they're walking. And do you notice the weather? What's the weather like? It looks really rainy. That's why they have rain boots and umbrella and they look like they wanna play, but sometimes when we wanna play and it's raining, we have to wear special gear like rain boots, umbrellas, hats. It looks like they're going to the park to play and it looks like they see something. What do you see? I see a dinosaur and it has a bag. I wonder what could be inside the bag. Do you have any predictions or guesses? I wonder, hmm. Oh, it looks like, well, let me let you look first. You tell me what it looks like. What do you notice or observe? What do they do with the bag? You're right, it looks like they took the bag down from the dinosaur and they're looking inside of it. Let's pretend we got a bag. Look inside of your bag. Ooh, and inside the bag, what do you see? You're right, I see chalk, chalk is in a cylinder shape. That means it's kind of like a circle at the top and it's like a tube. My chalk is a little more stubby. That means it's a little shorter, but it's still in a cylinder shape. Let's see, I wonder what they'll draw with the chalk. What do you like to draw with chalk? Ooh, let's check this picture out. The first girl picked up what color chalk? Yellow, I have yellow too. I'm gonna pick up my yellow chalk. And what did she draw? She drew a sun. I'm gonna try to draw a sun. The middle of the sun is a circle. I'm gonna draw a circle. And then she drew the rays with short lines. Let me try. Oh, my sun is really shiny. It's sending out rays of warmth. There's my sun, just like her. So I'm following the story by drawing with it. You can do that too. So she's drawing a sun. Do you remember what happens if you've ever read this book? Mmm, something's gonna happen. Oh my gosh, let me let you look before I get too excited and tell you all about it. The sun came to life in this picture. That's why they're covering their eyes because it's so bright. It's so, so bright. They're covering their eyes. That sun is super, super bright. Sometimes when I look up at the sun, I have to cover my eyes or I have to wear like sunglasses so that I don't hurt my eyes. And so their sun came to life. This must be magic chalk. My sun didn't come to life, but in the book, it's a fictional book, they're using their imagination. And the sun came to life. I wonder if it will stop raining. Maybe, hmm. Wow, they, her face is like this. Check that face out. She's like, did she know the sun was gonna come to life? No, she's so surprised. She's like, what? And look, the sun was on the ground and then it rose up, 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 in.
into the sky. Can you do that? Let's draw a sun together. Ready? Let's draw a circle and raise, 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 and then rise it up into the sky. Sunrise. And sometimes when the sun comes out, when it's raining, the clouds disperse. That means they move away and then it stops raining. So it looks like in this picture, the weather changed from a rainy day to a sunny day. I like when that happens. This girl's smiling. She looks excited that it's a sunny day. Okay, what do you notice? There's no word, so it's our job to tell the, picture, the story in a wordless book. I noticed this girl picked up, what color chalk is that? She picked up the orange chalk. Her face is like this, she looks so excited. She's gonna draw with that orange chalk. And what do you see her drawing? We've, drew, we've practiced drawing this before. Butterflies. It looks like she drew one line and then she drew a wing on this side, a wing on this side, and a wing on that side. She drew it symmetrical just like we practiced. Okay, I'm gonna put the book down. Let's practice drawing one. Ready? Take a line down. You did it in a wing. A, you could do a big wing and a small wing, a big wing and a small wing, or you could do small, big, small, big. Let me try up here. Let me see. I think I'll draw mine right over here under the sun. So I'm going to just scoop my book over. Excuse me, book. So one line and um, I like to do a big wing and then a small wing, a big wing and a small wing. Yeah. And I'm going to draw one more. I'm going to draw one like this. I'm going to draw a big wing. And I don't always want to connect it all the way to the abdomen. That means the middle. I just like to leave it like that. So we drew a butterfly just like her. And we have our sun and our butterfly. So in the other picture with the sun, first they drew the sun. And then something happened. Do you remember? And then the sun came to life. Yeah. So I wonder what will happen with these butterflies. The sun came to life. Hmm. Check out these butterflies. They're already giving us a hint. The illustrator, I see some wings coming up. What do you think will happen? Hmm. Oh, wow! Check this out! What do you see? I see butterflies emerging from the chalk drawing and flying up into the air. Wow! And they're orange and black, kind of like our painted lady butterflies that we recently released. They look so excited. They're like this. They look so excited. I would be excited too. I like butterflies. How would you feel if that happened to you? So exciting. All right, let's see what's next. Ooh, this boy is looking in the bag. And what color did he pick out? Green, yeah, I wonder what he'll draw. We got a little sneak peek right here. What do you think he's drawing? It looks like he's drawing a dinosaur. Let me see. Okay, I'm gonna try to draw a dinosaur too. I need what color chalk? Green chalk, okay. Now I'm just gonna try my best. Can I try to think of where I wanna draw my dinosaur? I think I'm gonna move down and kind of focus on it a little bit, so. Let me see, he drew, I think he's drawing like a T-Rex. So I'm gonna go up with the head. A T-Rex has little arms. And I'm gonna draw the legs down here. Sometimes I like to draw them side by side. And I'm gonna draw a big tail that wraps around a little bit. Wow, what a dino. I'm gonna give it some claws. Sometimes we like to do that. Dinos have claws, dinosaurs. And I'm going to give mine an eye right up here, maybe with a pupil inside. I'm going to give it a mouth like this and draw some sharp teeth because my T-Rex is a carnivore. And that means that he eats meat. I'm also going to give him some spikes. I love to give dinosaurs some spikes. Awesome. That's a dinosaur, a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Cool, the boy drew one like this. You can draw it any way you like, and you can even draw a different kind of dinosaur. But that's the kind I chose. Okay, so let's recall or remember, we drew a sun, then it came to life. We drew butterflies, then they came to life. Hold on a minute, we just drew, we 
drew a dinosaur. Is, is that going to come to life? <gasps> what do you think? Oh my gosh. A Tyrannosaurus Rex is a carnivore. What if it wants to eat me? Oh no. Check this out. What do you see? Oh my gosh, I see an enormous shadow. A shadow, um, you see your shadow sometimes when it's sunny out, your body or something else's um, body is blocking the sun. And so it makes a shadow. What shape is that shadow? I'm making a lot of SH sounds. Shh. I see teeth, I see a head. Oh, and the kids are like this. They look, they look scared. What could that be? What do you think? Tyrannosaurus Rex, it's animated or it came to life out of the chalk drawing. This must be magic chalk. Can you believe that? Oh my gosh. And now it's chasing the kids. How do they feel? Can you make that face? They look terrified, so scared. I would be scared too if a T-Rex was chasing me. How would you feel? I wonder what we could do. I don't know what to do. This is a tricky, this is, this is a tricky part. I need to get a new book. My book got a little ripped up. I wish you well, my book. It looks like they're trying their best to do what? Let me see. It looks like they're trying their best to run and hide and escape. They look so terrified. Oh, it's scary when something's chasing you. What would you do if that was chasing you? Yeah, or where would you hide? I know. Oh boy, here comes the dinosaur. I think it can see them. I know I can see them. Do you see where they're hiding? One's hiding in the slide, inside the slide. One's under the bridge, and one is on top of the playground. So we have inside the slide, under the bridge, and on top of the playground. But I think the T-Rex sees them. Oh no, what are we gonna do? They're small and he's big. He's enormous. <gasps> oh my goodness. Check it out. Whoa. This part's really suspenseful. That means there's a lot of exciting things happening and we don't know what's coming. So they see the T-Rex and I see the T-Rex's eye, which I think that means he sees them. Oh my gosh, what could we do? Hmm. What tools do we have to help? Yeah. All right, let's see. Oh, it looks like we found a new color of chalk. What color did we find? We found blue. Blue chalk. I wonder what that could do for us. Blue chalk. He drew it. What, did, what do you see? What did they draw? A cloud with rain? Huh. Let's give it a try. And I think I'm gonna change where I put my drawings. I want my T-Rex to come down here. Could you scoot down, Mr. T-Rex? He was above, and I want him to go below. I'm gonna move him down here. Thank you, Mr. T-Rex. And I'm gonna use this paper up here because this person drew a cloud, right? And I want my cloud to go in the sky. So I shifted it. My T-Rex was above, now I put him below. So here's my blue chalk, and it looks like their cloud is kind of like, like a fluffy, fluffy, cumulus, nimbus cloud. And it looks like they drew the rain lines with dot, 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 dot. Uh-oh. Who's that rain gonna fall on? What do you think is going to happen when the rain hits the T-Rex? Hmm. Would a real Tyrannosaurus Rex be affected by rain? What happens when rain's on you? Yeah, we get wet, but 
Do you remember, have you ever drawn something with chalk and then it gets wet from rain or water? What happens to it? Whoa. Hmm. So connecting what we know about what happens to chalk when rain hits it, and we know that the dinosaur is made of chalk. So what kind of inference or prediction could we make? What might happen to him when the rain hits him? Hmm. All right, let's see. I see the rain droplets falling. The clouds are closing in again. And, and they want the rain, right? Why do they want the rain? Yeah, it might help us with the T-Rex. Make your predictions. What do you think will happen? Hmm. Check out the detail on the raindrops. This illustrator is really putting a lot of detail into their drawings. I can see like the texture of the rain, and I can see the like the scales on the dinosaur. Really detailed drawings this illustrator did. I like it a lot. <gasps> Check it out. What do you notice? What happened to the dinosaur? One more time, what do you see? <gasps> He's melting! Oh my goodness! Let's see if I can draw some blue. He's like dissolving. When you put water on chalk, oh, kind of dissolves a little bit. Right? So he's melting! Oh no! He's getting rained on! I'm using the side of the chalk to make lines like that. Oh boy! We know that, like I said, when chalk gets wet, it dissolves. So that's what's happening to the dinosaur. That was so smart of those kids to put that rain cloud up there. Wow. And look, this is all that's left of him. Just a little bit of green puddle. That's all that's left. That's what chalk looks like when it's all wet. And you know what they did with the bag of chalk? They put it back. Why do you think they put it back? Yeah, maybe they're all done. Maybe they drew that dinosaur and they were like, whew, that was very exciting, but that was a little scary too, so they need a break. Magic chalk seems like a lot of fun, but you have to be careful about what you draw. And now it looks like, what do you think they're gonna go do? Yeah, it looks like they got their umbrella and maybe they're, they're walking back away from the dinosaur, so maybe they're gonna go Oh, yeah, and that's the end of our story. And look, there's the butterfly. Wow, that was written in 2010. That was 10 years ago. That was such a cool book. So again, that's Chalk by Bill Thompson. And we drew, let's check what we drew. First, we use our yellow. Oh, I threw the chalk. Okay, first we threw the chalk. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm silly. First, we use our yellow chalk to chalk to draw a sun. So we made a circle with rays, 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 rays. And then we used orange to draw a butterfly. We made the line in the abdomen of the middle and a wing, 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 wing. We made it symmetrical, same on both sides. Then we used our green chalk to draw what? A Tyrannosaurus Rex. We drew the head, the arms, the feet, the tail, we added an eye, teeth, spikes, you can draw however you like. And then last we used our blue, and what did we draw? You're right, we drew a rain cloud. We did, and we made the rain fall down on the T-Rex, and that is how we escaped. That was so, so much fun. Thank you for reading with me. Again, that's a wordless book, and a wordless book is really great for really anybody, but especially people learning how to read because it gives you practice paying attention to the illustrations. And when you do learn how to read, the illustrations can actually help you. If you're unsure of a word, you can check the illustrations and that's a strategy that helps you check to make sure what you're reading makes sense. So it's great practice to look closely at the illustrations because they give us a lot of clues about what the story is saying. Thank you so much for reading with me. Have a great day. Maybe if it's a nice day, you can go play with some chalk. Watch out though, it might be magical. Bye guys.